Somehow Josh Fuller made it past the bouncer, and here we are at the Battle of the Giants. I am your hero, Jason Eaton. I'm thrilled to welcome to the announce booth, coming in after a huge return victory, Innocent Isaiah. It is electric and deafening here at Old Oxbury in Ashford, Virginia. Overwhelming chance of Swag was gonna kill you. Who is making his Nova Pro debut here tonight? Welcome to the show, Swag. Absolutely, Josh Fuller up past his bedtime tonight for a big time fight against Swaggle. Looking for a test of strength. Notice no red wristband on Josh Fuller. I think he is under the age of 21 and cannot legally drink in the United States of America. I mean, that might be his only advantage as I think Swaggle uh, maybe has already imbibed a bit. Perhaps Josh Fuller's sobriety will lead him to victory. The king of small style is looking to lock up. And immediately overpowers my least favorite millennial. Get a haircut, you hippie. Huge double stuff onto the hands. Let's be clear, I am an educated Jewish liberal and even I think that Josh Fuller needs a haircut. And there we go, our second purple nurple of the night. Greco Roman nipple lock. And a one fight. Swaggle wanting applause from the crowd. Swaggle's got bullies right where he wants them, right in the jaws of, the, of his mouth. Fuller on the retreat outside. Uh oh, he has a drink. That's Somebody illegal. Card him. Someone card that child. That's illegal. We're gonna get kicked out of the building if he drinks that beer. The rest of the number the entire, the entire crowd serving as a responsible parent tonight. Enforcing the law. That's what we like from our Nova Pro fans. Josh Miller is the child none of us wanted, but all of us ended up with. Swallow Kendrick. He is of legal age. I saw his ID in the back. The crowd telling Swallow to chug, and with a pained look in his face, he acquiesces to the demands of the masses. Uh, I think Swallow just hit double digits on drinks for the night. Oh! And it's. The Amber Mist, the dreaded Amber Mist. He learned that one in Ireland. Fuller looking to retreat. I think this is the only skirt Fuller's ever had his head under. Swoggle on the offensive. Swoggle is offensive. And Fuller back to the outside again. I also have to note, this was the best set of entrance music of any match we've had in a very long time. Swaggle wants referee Chris Sharp to go under the ring. I mean, I don't know if he should go under the ring. If I remember correctly, there's a portal to another world and there's like a whole court and like, you could go, I don't know. I just remember there being a lot of weird things. Like I think Judge Reinhold is under the ring. Swaggle used to take residence under the ring. Thankfully he came out from the locker room tonight. Nothing small about those, Jason. Right to Fuller's hairless, prepubescent chest. And throws him right into that support beam. I do want to be clear, we would never let a child wrestle. I can't see, but that's okay. I think Swaggle has a weapon. Oh no, what is Swaggle doing? Oh my god! He's got a cane! He just... That was an incredible throw back to the fan. And quite a catch. This is quite a, uh, a preview of our fans pick the weapons match at the next show as Brittany Blake and Tara Cowdway will engage in this, but it's not like 27. this. And in Dale, Virginia. And uh, Josh Fuller trying to hit Swaggle with nobody home. Swing and a miss. That big kick right to the little man.
Thankfully, tonight is not a school night, so Fuller can make this go as long as he wants. Referee Sharp admonishing Fuller for the illegal chokes on the ropes. Referee Sharp, one of our absolute best. You may see him on WWE, WWE NXT UK. Um, and he also does this. And so far, Josh Fuller has now managed to take control of Swoggle. Make no mistake about it, Swoggle is an accomplished competitor. We've seen him engage in matches of extreme brutality like the WLC match. And a win over Swoggle is absolutely no laughing matter. This is the single most high profile matchup of Josh Fuller's burgeoning career. And he is impressing. Look at that height. Almost three count. Swoggle stays alive. And I, I gotta say, look at that height is not a thing I expected to say in this match. Keep in mind, Swoggle is also a former WWE Cruiserweight Champion. That is a thing we are obligated to say. That is true. Oh my goodness. Is it the sack and gold? What is it? What is what? what usually thumbtacks come out of these sacks. Sometimes it's gold. It's Lucky Charms, I think. He is a psycho. Is that what they are? I think they are. That man has a sun. And a moon and a rainbow. There's so many different marshmallows in that bag. Fuller looking to be magically vicious. Only God knows what he has in store for Swoggle. This is what you find at the end of the rainbow. Josh Fuller's head hitting a bunch of lucky charms. And a second Irish suplex. So many marshmallows died to bring us this matchup. Back up. Oh no. Shot to the face. Cheeky leprechaun kick. Fireman's carry. Powering Fuller up. Oh! Emerald fusion onto the Lucky Charms. Oh, so, so close. Someone Put Fuller away. Some way, somehow, Josh kicks out. Fuller's back has the indentations of an entire cartoon solar system embedded into him. Oh, Fuller goes to the eyes. Fuller able to create a little bit of separation, go for those double knees again. Wisely rolling Swaggle into the ring and away from the ropes, and Josh Fuller just beat a former Cruiserweight Champion. Much to the dismay of the crowd here in Ashburn.